for the sign of Scorpio. Hello, welcome to my channel. So Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Ace of Pentacles, and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, you could find yourself enjoying a new beginning on several levels, and this is a very positive new beginning. So you're likely to be you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about your future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon, and this could be in the area of work, or it could be personally. But either way, it's a really good thing. Now it's with the Ten of Wands. When this card appears, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. So you may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. And I say this because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden that you're carrying emotionally, it actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So, Scorpio, recent past energy between you and your person, Ace of Pentacles, clarified by this Ten of Wands. So this, this is actually telling me that um, you made a love offer to your person. Um, it could have been for a new beginning, a fresh new start. Or your person made a love, love offer to you. And, like I said, for most of you, it was for a fresh new start. Yeah, because the Ace of Pentacles, it's about enjoying new beginnings. On several levels so um, this would have helped the connection rise to new and better heights and the two of you would have reconnected but it's what this ten wands okay so ten of wands kind of speaks for itself you see this man he's walking forward but he's actually about to fall backwards So it's signifying that um, it's a hard place in a relationship when you get the Ten of Wands. There's something that's difficult. Yeah, so you got this new beginning with your person, but things got really heavy. You, you could have felt like um, you, you were giving too much of your emotional energy. To this person or the connection started to feel like it was draining you or just something was sucking something about it was sucking the life out of you that's what it felt like yeah but you got a new offer a new a new beginning but then it just became difficult for some reason yeah something happened but let's move on over let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got temperance and it's with the page of cups. I know you guys can't hear me too well because I'm suffering from really bad allergies. But if you put on some headphones, that should help. And yeah, um, my um, speaker system, is my um, recording device is not the best. So, I, you don't have to put it in the comments that you can't hear me. Because I know it's not the best system, but if you've got headphones, if you've got any earplugs, put them on, please. Until I um, get things worked out here. So, and my allergies, they really get bad sometimes. But anyways. Okay, so. Um, coming up, Scorpio. Temperance clarified with Page of Cups. Okay, so when you get temperance, 
your relationships are likely to be going really well, you may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations that you might have. Now it's with the Page of Cups. Okay, so the Page of Cups, it's showing that there's a need to play, dream, have a little fun when this card appears. It can mean that you've been taking yourself far too seriously. There was a poet or a writer that once said, the one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work seriously and taking oneself seriously. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So, Scorpio, coming up for you and your person, temperance clarified by the Page of Cups. Like I said, you and your person, been, you two have been through some difficulties. Ten of Wands, yeah. Things got heated uncomfortably. Um, maybe a fight. Maybe you're trying to take on too much in the connection and it's starting to feel the connection is starting to feel like a burden um but you did get a fresh new start with your person but it turned out to be difficult for some reason or another but coming up though your person might um make the gesture like the page of cups does to um to have some fun yeah. Yeah, because if you look at the Page of Cups, you see these three people. It's a card below the word present. These three people, they're at the park. They're halfway naked. They're turning up the bottle. And they're having a good time. Yeah. Yeah, so your person could be reaching out to you. They realize that um, you're emotionally drained, or they could be emotionally drained, but they realize it's time to loosen up and just have some fun. So don't be surprised, Scorpio, if your person comes over to where you are, to your house, or if you two are living together, don't be surprised if a person comes in the door with some whiskey or some wine or some champagne just to get you two to loosen up. Yeah, because that's what they're doing in the, with the Page of Cups. Like I said, they're ha halfway naked. <laughs> and they're... they're um, you're um, turning up the bottle and it's about intimacy, this page of cups. It's about opening up your heart, loosening up. Um, it's a, It could be a happy surprise, a playful type of energy. So it's showing that it's going to work because uh, temperance is here. It's going to bring balance back into the connection. So... Maybe the two of you have forgotten how to um, just let go. Stop being so serious about so many things or things. And if you're serious about something, somebody is reminding you or you're reminding your person that, that you have to stop and just take time to loosen up. Have fun. Bring the intimacy back in a playful way. So, yeah, so maybe somebody's got some tricks in the bag along with the champagne. But anyway, it's going to work. And if, you, if no one's thinking about doing this, you or your person... 
it's an indicator that maybe you want to try it. Try something that's not so serious. Um, I don't know. Uh, Page of Cups, they could be playing games. They could be, um, just having a really good time. So, yeah, it's saying it's going to work. So, you get the bottle of champagne, lingerie, whatever you have to do. It's saying it's going to work because temperance is here. It's going to bring balance back into the back into the connection. Yeah, with temperance, um, it brings peace of mind. And it brings reconciliation with temperance. And, and it brings calm and patience. So it looks like this is what's needed, the Page of Cups. If this is resonating with you and your person, some type of difficulties, try to turn things around with some, some intimacy. Open-hearted intimacy and let go of the seriousness. It's saying that's going to bring balance back into the connection. So yeah, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so Six of Wands, it's another good card. Nine of Pentacles, a great card. Six of Wands is about victory, success, recognition. If you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know you'll be victorious. This can indicate some type of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party or a commencement celebration. Or maybe you're receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Six of Wands makes you feel really, really good. Really good about yourself yeah six of wands um it can make you also feel like you got a lot of support from the people around you on the other hand you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel Amazing notes with the Nine of Pentacles, which is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while and that things will be going better than you thought possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. So yeah, like I said, the, the connection is brought back into balance. There's reconciliation. And then you got this great Six of Wands here. Wow. Six of Wands. Yeah. And then this Nine of Pentacles. Things turn around in a really big way for the better. For you and your person. There's no more difficulties. Whatever that difficulty was with this Ten of Wands here. That's done. That's over with. So like I said, this playful energy that um, your person suggested, um, what it's, it's, it's not only bringing balance back into the connection, but it's, um, it's making you feel recognized by your person again. Um, the Six of Wands, for example, uh, it suggests that you could be the type of person who may need someone to boost your ego while the other person they're perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring this is called fire of balance the two of you feed off of each other energetically so yeah it, this is turned out to be like a uh it's turned out to be like a sexual thing this reading here because the Six of Wands, like I said, it suggests that you get a lot of sexual energy. And there's passion and long nights spent in bed. So yeah, some of you Scorpios are going to have a, have a lot of um, intimacy going on. Coming up with um, 
you and your person after this difficulty. Because, um, like I said, someone's making a very romantic gesture. And it's working. So, yeah. Um, you'll be getting special recognition from your person. And it's going to start to feel like the two of you are mirroring each other. The Six of Wands is my... For me, it's the twin flame type of energy. Because if you take a look at the picture of the Six of Wands, it's the card above the word challenge. She's standing on a podium and she's waving her wand in the air. And she's got all these people below her and they're waving their wand in the air exactly the same way as she's doing. So she's experiencing recognition, victory, and success. And that's what you're going to be getting from your person. Yeah, so great chemistry. It's going to feel like things are back on track. And with the Nine of Pentacles, any problems, they're over for a while. Yeah, so things are back into tip-top tip shape. Yeah. So, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. You got all good cards here, um, Scorpio. So, Ten of Pentacles and Six of Swords for the outcome. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles, it says that you have a great deal to be thankful for. Your relationships of all kinds, finance, health, all these things will be going well. So, Consider how you got to such a happy situation. Make the best of it. Be sure to share what you have. Even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need. Because we get back what we get out. And now it's with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords can indicate some type of movement. Maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better. Whether the context is internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. So there's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery, it's going to be helpful. So yeah, you and your person for this outcome, Scorpio. Yeah, wow, Ten of Pentacles. Everyone wants the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Page of Cups. These are good cards. Temperance. Yeah. So your outcome, Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles clarified by Six of Swords. So yeah, your person, they they see you as their end-all, be-all. Yeah. You're the one that they're, that they're so happy to be with. Like I said, everything is going well. Um, they could see you as someone that they want commitment, engagement, marriage, childbirth. That's what you get with the Ten of Pentacles. Commitment. Um, the two of you may be taking a trip. Maybe some type of traveling. But I, I don't know. I, I doubt it these days. With this virus going on. But maybe short, short trips. Maybe just to walk around the park. And it's, um, it's just making you guys um, bond more. Or it's making... Um, you to move in the calmer waters, even though I don't see any storm or anything anymore. You left that with the, you left that in the recent past. Well, no, you left that in the present when, um, your person invited you to have some fun. But, uh, yeah, the Six of Swords can be about, like I said, some type of movement, so... Uh, maybe you two will just be doing things together. Yeah. It's, you two are at a very peaceful place coming up. 